Hello YouTube, I come to you today from the floor of my room to talk to you about Diana Wynne-Jones. On the 26th of March 2011, children's author Diana Wynne-Jones died of cancer. She'd been suffering for a few years but finally passed away after the radiotherapy became too painful to continue. And as I was sat there at my computer screen, reading the news for the very first time, Earwig and the Witch popped through my door. First for Fiction sent me the last book Diana Wynne-Jones would ever write, just as I found out it was the last book she'd written. And although I was still reeling from the news, I picked up the book, I read, and I laughed. Like its predecessors, Earwig and the Witch is a beautiful, funny, and magical tale. Young and bossy, Earwig has to leave the orphanage she's grown up in, and her best friend Custard, to go live with a witch, her familiar, and the terrifying Mandrake. The witch adopted Earwig with the idea that she'd be the perfect slave, that she'd clean up after all her spells and potions, but Earwig has other ideas. This book is definitely aimed at a lot younger age than the majority of Diana Wynne Jones' novels. If I was shelving it in my store, it would probably go in the eight-year-old section. However, I've never been one to direct my reading according to age range. I really hate the division of fiction by age. Yes, younger readers can understand the words in this book, but older readers can still enjoy the story, and stories are what's important. I loved the story of Earwig trying to perform spells and chase up the mandrake's invisible demons and promising Thomas the cat that she'd save him from a plague of worms. Also, the whole way through the book is accompanied with cute little illustrations. Duh. Of all Diana Wynne Jones books, I think my favourite will always remain Howl's Moving Castle, which some people might know from the Ghibli film. If you've read any Diana Wynne Jones books, I'd love to know which ones are your favourites, and if you haven't yet picked up Earwig and the Witch, I'd really recommend it, regardless of what age you are. It's such a beautiful little story, even if it's aimed at younger readers. If you haven't read any Diana Wynne Jones at all, you have to go pick something up. There is such a wide range of her stories to choose from. From Christopher Chant travelling through dreams, to Vivian kidnapped from World War II to help keep time in place, or magic causing chaos in school in which week. Sad as I am to know she's no longer writing new books, the publication of which I can eagerly await. Like J.K. Rowling says, the stories we love best will live in us forever. The multitude of beloved characters and amazing lands Diana Wynne-Jones has crafted are accessible at the turn of a page.